Welcome back to the garage. What are we up to today? We've got the one series. This is the 118 diesel E82. We're going to be fitting. This is the Bilstein B8 suspension kit. So it comes eye back springs, gas struts uprated front and rear. So we've got the, the full struts on the front and the shock absorbers on the back. We've got these beautiful new rear springs and the front ones as well. Down at eye back. Just picked up the new springs and shock absorbers. They're going to go straight onto the one series. This place is amazing. Look at all these springs. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. <laughs> Let's go and crack on getting fitted. What are we hoping to achieve with this? We have got some leaking shock absorbers on the car at the minute. So while we're at it, we might as well upgrade the whole thing. We know how good these springs are. I've fitted it to a one series before. And also I've got them on my three series. The spring kit alone is just amazing. So once we've upgraded the shock absorbers to these V8s, then it's going to be just amazing. Following this video, we've got the front suspension to be done. So this one's just on the rears. I'll put all the links in the description for this one. Um, let's get over to the car, bang it on. Let's stay in this car. <laughs> That's the beauty of it though. This is, a, this is a workhorse. It's up and down the motorway every single day. It's doing five, 600 miles a week. The car wash is frozen up, so I can't even wash it. <laughs> Let's crack on. So I've got the video on how to change the springs, which we did previously. This particular one now, because we're doing the, the shock absorbers, we've got to get to the top mountains, which are behind these panels. So we've got to strip these out. A few clips. We've got to take out, but we'll start with this bottom bit. Drop the seats down, pull the lever. Gives us plenty of room to get at these clips and mountains. Like I say, links for all the tools and parts that I'm going to be using in the video are in the description below. This is a little trim tool, nice and cheap off of Amazon, and it's dead easy for, well, useful. It's really useful for popping these trims out, these little clips. They can be a bit fiddly if you haven't got this uh, this tool. You can use a screwdriver, right, but... Uh, the other one there, and we've got to take these uh, mountains off the side as well. Yeah, this tool definitely helps speed things up a bit. Okay, this one's a TX40. I've just got a little socket there. What is that out? We've got one of these either side, but we've got to take these out to allow those side panels to come out. On that side as well, we've also got the cigarette lighter, which is literally just a two pin plug that pulls off the back once you've pulled the, the panel forward. A couple of screws on the back panel there. Two Phillips screws, one either side. I hate pulling these panels on a cold day. The plastic gets dead brittle and it, yeah, it does tend to snap. But I think we've managed to get it off with a tug. Go on. You can see the clips here. So the side panels then just pull out, give them a real good tug, and they come away. Fag light plug off, like I said, and then you can pull that one out as well. That's that side out as well. Let's get it up in the air. We'll get the wheels off. I've got this lovely ceiling low entry jack. I'll pop links in the description for it. That goes straight underneath the plastic jacking point there. I'm going to bang one under each side just to make life easier for myself. Take the wheel off there. 17 millimeter socket. And I need to get under here and support this. So when I'm I'm going to need the jack to pop the bottom of the uh, shock absorbers out, so I need to get an axle stand under. Yeah, so that a little bit, and where I'm going to go with that one is right under, under there, under that main subframe in the middle. That there now, I can let that jack down, and that will just rest on onto the top of that and be nicely supported. There we go. Lovely juggler. I've got my jack to do my work now. So what we need to do is release this big bolt at the bottom, on the bottom arm, so we can drop it down. And also the one underneath here for the shock absorber base. Uh, we've got to whip that one out. You see how tight this one is. If you've not got the impact gun, there is a, a spanner hold on the shock absorber to hold it in place so you can rotate it from the bottom. Yeah, she's off. It's 21. 
on both sides. Spanner behind it, and then was it with the gun? Should come out. There we go. You just push this shock absorber back up through that hole there. So we'll get the jack on it. I'll just get a little, a little socket. Just push that through. So I don't put a whole punch hole through me. Good work, Pad. And then hopefully, I'll we'll just jack that now. Yeah, we'll push that through. Here it comes. There it is. Let's pop that through there. We'll do the top bolt now from the inside, hopefully get the shock absorber right out. Okay, 16 millimeter span up. And my little six millimeter socket on that. A little bit fiddly in here. There's not a great deal of uh, room to be working with, but get the ratchet going the right way, it always helps. This is obviously the ratchet's going reverse. There we go. To the spanner. Yeah, that's more like it. Off it comes. And that's the top mount as well, look. That should now push through. We should be able to grab hold of that and compress it down. Get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. There it comes, look. There's that out of there. And then we can sort of lift the whole thing out. Come on. Shock us over out. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Bump stops absolutely shredded. We should be able to pull that out. Just got to separate it at the bottom. Get the jack under this. Under there and just raise that up a tiny bit. That's that all out now. Just got my foot on that. Looking at the cords. One spring out. Do a quick comparison. We've got the new spring there and the old spring there. You can see there's a slight difference in the height of those two. The spring here, we want that to go with the right in facing the right way round, top and bottom. The new strut, no, shock absorber, call it the right thing. In here. This is amazing because it comes completely with the new dust cover. So, look at that, bump stop included, dust cover. And a new washer for the top. So compared to the old tatty old thing, it's very, ooh, very lovely. <laughs> it's not chipped it, but all right. Let's take that off the bottom. We're going to need to use that new nut there. We can uh, get the spring in first. There is a rubber in the bottom of this. Uh, arm here that we've just got to make sure that the end of the spring locates into that correctly. So we 
drop that in. Make sure that's located right, which is just there. And again on the top one, go make sure that that locates into there as well. So we'll just make sure that that is in the right place, which is just there, like that. Again. Like so <laughs> these new ones we can compress that down these are really tight these are gas so they are harder than the other ones and then we can get that back up and in as well Jack back under this arm and get it located in the right place. And these can be speedless to get in. Tracking with my legs. <laughs> there we go. And we can put this bolt back through. the nut back on there now I don't want to do this fully tight just yet we need to um, just get that nut started and then we'll jack it up slightly just to make it level and then we'll whack it all the way up is a 15 so they've gone a bit smaller on these new ones there we go that's that one up just got to do the top one now that one's all intact nicely drop that on the top and then whiz it down in the top which is that one there so that's a uh, five millimeter I'll have a socket again there's ratchets around it and set this to undo put that on there hold down this there we go 
new one in. The little arrow on that points to the top. So it's upwards up, like that. Beautiful. Get the wheel back on. We'll whack that back up. One side done. Big problem with these, on these washers here, they rot right through, the middle goes, and then the strut pops through into the boot. And so your shock absorber's just wiggling through this and doing absolutely nothing. Gets some all sort of crazy knocking noises and stuff. But yeah, that is a common one to corrode all the way through. With these new ones, you get that washer, so not needed. Right, let's move on to the other side. Whip the wheel off. Now this is the bad one. You can see the oil has been leaking out of that. And how it's actually split the top. That's because it's been dancing like a little baby kangaroo. Now we're going to whiz through this one pretty quick. We've took us time on the other side. So we'll get the top mounting off to start with. Okay. Bottom on, bolt out, shock absorber bolt out, push it through. Up she goes. Oh, she's tight. Keep going. <laughs> that's popped down as well now even better that jar has saved me a job and you see this one is really soggy soggy and soft it's got not a lot of anything to it because it's lost all its juice <laughs> we'll just load up that bottom arm there with my foot and pull the spring out again like we did last time And in with a new, we'll get that top rubber on there, we'll get the bottom rubber located, get it all in line, and then compress this shock absorber down, slide that in as well, get through the top mount there, got his new washer on the top, little nut on the bottom, jack it up, get it all lined up, get the bolt through, close, somewhere there. Yeah, and it goes. 21 millimeter socket on there again with the spanner. We'll bang that up. Nice and tight, all lined up. Top mounting on, rubber in, jack down. Do this one right up, make sure it's nice and tight. Wheel back on. That was quick, wasn't it? Perfect. Get the axle stand out and then we can drop them both down to the deck. Get that side in first. It's a bit tight around the back seat, but with a bit of um, manipulating, we'll get that cigarette or auxiliary power socket back on. This is the bit where it's quite tight, just getting it behind that seat. I found with the um, pipe removal tool, you can just pull the seat forward and, and uh, locate it in there. A bit of massage in and this will go back in. Tippity tap at it. A few finishing touches, we'll get that strap mounting back in place. Both sides. Clips in. Just feed it underneath that rear rubber seal around the boot liner. Get the rest of these clips in place. Another a little bit of uh, feed in there to get that back in. Back panel on, clamp that down, just give it a give it a tap, get the rubber in there again. Two screws and a couple of clips. Light covers back on. And then the basin, job done. <laughs> all done, what do you reckon? Back ends all city nice, all leveled up beautiful. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be the front. So we're going to do the front um, struts. We're going to replace those, put the R-backs on there with the Bilstein V8 uh, shockers as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Drop me some comments, likes up, thumb. He's a broken man. If you like the video, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.
That took a bit of gain out, didn't it? But it was sorted. Don't she look nice though now? That sits lovely, doesn't it? Like a dream. Just needs washing now. And the next video coming up will be the front, so uh, stay tuned.